And that's why your interpretation of Revelation makes no sense whatsoever. You know. Because it says in Revelation that the beast shall continue 40 and 2 months. But according to them, he's, the beast has continued for 105 years so far or something. No, 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 no. That's according to their interpretation of Revelation. Yeah, it's still going on. They say that 42 months happened way back in 1917, something like that, you know. But how, where, where's the kingdom of God then? Not even the kingdom of Antichrist was born. It's taken them a long, long time, you see. They made up those words, World War One. Hey, I've, I've, I've taught this for... Uh, how many years I, I've been teaching this? I've been teaching this since 1990. 1991. That nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom is not World War One and not World War Two. I hate these people that steal this stuff from me, man. And put themselves up as a prophet and tell me that I'm a psycho. You know, they're demonic. Wolves and sheep's clothing. So the the nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. I had said originally, and I told this man, do not steal anything more from me. And yet he stole this from me also and came out as the great author of it. That repeatedly in the Old Testament, God said he would destroy a nation by famine, sword, and pestilence. These things didn't come and go. Are we being destroyed by sword and famine and pestilence? How ridiculous. People have said we're living in the most prosperous time. Medicine has cured all the, the diseases. There's no pestilence. Famine, you know. There's, no, there's an overabundance in the world now. And the only wars that take place are the conquering of nations to set up the new world order. We're living in the time when Jesus says, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Be ye not terrified, for these things must take place. But the end is not yet. And when he says kingdom, nation against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, again, the earth is, the word is ethnos, nation, as an ethnic group. And kingdom against kingdom, because kingdoms, Always in the ancient times, they were made up of peoples that were of the same ethnic group. But when this happens, you see, it's beginning of pangs of distress. The woman is giving birth, man. And she goes into labor. She doesn't go out and drink, at, go to a cocktail party and drink, and then come back and have a few more birth spasms. No, she goes into labor, heavy labor, painful labor, distress. The pangs of distress upon a pregnant woman. And they shall no means escape. Let's get this, the scriptures. But they don't want, it's not that they don't know. They don't want the scriptures straight because they're Freemasons. They go along with that agenda. It's real clear and real easy, you see. But some pretend that, oh, we're, we're going to, uh, this guy's speaking really, you know, we can't refute this. Let's, let's have one of our agents go over there and preach this. And we'll set them up, we'll get them, you know, all the hits, all the, the audience. And when this fool comes out that's revealing our secrets, nobody's going to listen to him. And nobody does because they're not really interested in the truth. They want to join a group and play church and have a little community of friends. That's about it, man. They're concerned with their earthly flesh is all it is. So that's what happened, you know. 
when you get the nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom for real, man, the whole thing's going down. That's why Jesus says you lift up your heads, man. Your, your redemption draws nigh. Time to lift up your heads, man. We're sailing through, man. God's word is coming true, all of it. And he don't lie. You know, he ain't no hypocrite, neither. Jehovah is a manly person of war. He proved that in Egypt. He will defeat all of his enemies. Now, what is the first thing that sparks off of this, this uh, uh, time, these 42 months? I'm 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 not sure, you know, but I know that it says in Luke, but before all these things they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you. You know. That's really what's hap that's really what happens when the war in heaven happens and the devil is thrown down. He begins to persecute the seed of the woman. That's what really happens. And God starts into action, you know turns them against each other so their persecution of that seed is disrupted and even the earth swallows up the flood of propaganda and lies and hatred against the seed of God's women and they got more trouble than they can handle man then the na then the nation rise against nation because because God says hey man he that touches you touches the apple of my eye the pupil of my eye and my rage comes up into my nose and my fury and I will and I will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and sixty days dressed in sackcloth in the streets of that great city where our Lord was also crucified no, it's not not New York City. It's not United States. It's not Rome. Anybody got a brain at all? People just don't want to know because they're afraid, you see. They're afraid of the truth. They're afraid of persecution. And if you can't die for the truth, God says, you're not going to live. You're not going to live. Uh huh? Because you have to love God more than anything. And if you, if you don't know him, you can't love him. You know? But you can't be a disciple of Jesus Christ unless you disown even your own life, you know? And there's going to be a great persecution. So those that uh, come to the aid of Christ's brothers... They're going to have to risk their lives too. You know. Those that take in Christ brothers. Naked. They clothe them. In prison. Sick and in prison. They came and visited them. Hungered. And he gave me food to eat. You know. What did we see you do that? Well, that, well it, as much as you did for at least these my brothers, yeah, you did unto me. And, I will div and he will divide the sheep from the goats. Jesus Christ will. You see, one to eternal life. Those deserving it of with faith and love. The others to everlasting destruction. Prepared for the devil and his angels. Well, the powers, the powers that be, they don't want you to know the truth. They're even, they're gonna. That's why they're gonna rejoice when the beast comes and kills the two witnesses there in that great city that reigns over the kings of the earth, where our Lord was also cried, crucified, and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints. And of all that have been slain upon the earth. See, we're, that's what we're talking about. World wars. And wicked governments. Antichrist governments like communism. 
Because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. They hate the truth. They want to kill it. Not because it's not true. Just because they want they, they don't want anybody to, to, to know what they're doing. They don't want to be exposed, you see. It's not because of uh, uh, they're racist or hate speech. Yeah, we hate what's bad. Christians hate what's bad. We're commanded to hate what's bad. It doesn't matter what race you are. Every man will be judged according to his own deeds. But this prejudice thing is what racism really is. You know. But God is colorblind. He doesn't judge men according to their flesh. And yet he can actually, he can see uh, tendencies in different races. In Genesis, it was prophesied about the three sons of Noah, three branches of humankind, and what their future would be. Okay, I gotta go now. I guess that's about it for now. Take care. Any of you that love God, man, you keep it up, man. You love God until the end. It's eternal happiness waiting for you because otherwise you have eternal death. There's no middle ground. You know, he that's not with me is against me and he that does not gather with me scattereth abroad. You know, but also Jesus, he that is not against us is on our part. You know? So that's how... That's how it is. That's how God made it. That's the way it is. That's the way we are. People are, you know. We we uh, are one or the other. So he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still.